Hey guys, I'm going to do a little video walkthrough of this and some of you gave me feedback that you needed more help. Uh, so first, here's my new document and the workspace units is going to be millimeters. And what did my tutorial say? To start a new sketch on the front face. So right click here, new sketch, hit N to view normal. And I don't have two screens recording, so I gotta figure out how to make this visible. Okay, so I'm doing, if that's there, that'll work. Um, I'm using my origin point as the middle of the circles. So one, two, yeah. All right. Three, so your separate iliac joint four, is all right. And um, the construction line. So line and Q up to here. Hit escape. Get my line tool. Go from here to here. It looks like that applied a constraint for me because like this, the so circle was like yellow when I clicked. Um, then I need to get my mirror, forget where it lives here. Mirror, select a mirror line, this guy. Select items to be mirrored, this guy. And that step is good, so let me pause this. Okay, so now for step three, I have to add these dimensions. Um, so let's get my dimensioning tool. And I'll start with the ins. Mm, let's start the outside circle because I know this is going to get a lot bigger. 500. Ooh, zoom out. Okay. It's so 500, then this guy is 475 this guy is 400 it doesn't actually matter where you place your um for mentioning labels i'm just duplicating theirs so that it looks the same 150 sketch could not be solved all right did i click i clicked the wrong thing control z Okay, this one, let's get my dimension tool again. This one is 150. It looks like it didn't undo this one, so I'm going to click it and delete it. Okay, 150. Where are we going, these? Um, and then an angle dimensioning me? from here to here. Whee! 30. And the entire sketch is dark black, which means it is fully defined, which they said, uh, be sure your sketch is fully defined before moving on to the next step. Awesome. And I'm gonna rename the sketch, main sketch, rename. Well, let me accept it and then right click, rename it, main sketch. I'm gonna pause this now. Okay, so the next step is to create a solid extrude feature. Um, the type of end is like symmetric, so it's not just going like, you know, forward or backward or right or left. It's going to be like centered around my sketch um, 150 millimeters for the outer two most profiles. So I have that screenshot so I can still see it while I'm working. And here's my sketch where I'm working. I'm going to extrude and select this profile and this profile. Um, solid, new, boop, boop. type, symmetric, depth, 150. And then accept. Now let's see what's next. Uh, rename it wheel rim. Let's make sure it looks correct too. Oh, it does. And right click. No, where's my part? All the way down here where I... parts. I need to scroll. Can I maximize the screen for a second? Look at that, guys. My um my screencasting tools are in the way of my men. There we go. Rename Wheel Rim. Okay. 
Now what's the next step? Show the main sketch and then to create the hub, extrude the center profile as a solid symmetric 200 um, check draft five degree and accept let me i'm gonna pause while i screenshot that and stuff so i can get it up and do it okay so show the main sketch select the circle for extrude and again the type is symmetric they said 200 millimeters um, and I need to wonder oh I don't I have surface I need solid there we go and draft five degrees so mine looks like that solid Oh, I lost my face, so let me grab the circle again. That's not right. Go away. That looks right. Okay. It's got like the middle and symmetric, symmetric draft, five degrees. Okay. Cool. Okay, so step eight, to create the spoke, select an extrude feature to solid with blind end type, 25 millimeter, and we're selecting the triangle profile. Um, and we want the direction to be towards the front of the part. And we want to add it to wheel rim and part two. So we need to do the add. You can see that here and accept. Okay, so let's go try that. It was solid, add, blind, 25, merge with wheel rim and part two. Okay, let's try it. So extrude, add, blind. I think I'm supposed to do the middle as well no maybe not just maybe just that okay so um, add blind 20 i already forgot add blind 25 rim and part two merge with Wheel rim and part two. I'm going to select them from over here. And the direction it's going is towards the front. Where you see the front, the, the little arrow is pointing like this way, and this is the front. So if it were pointing the other way, okay. Yeah, so we've got that. Except we should have one single part, and we do. It's just one. Cool. So nine to create a drafted spoke, select the draft feature, choose the top face of the spoke and the side faces as the entities to draft. Okay. And put 15 degrees. So draft neutral plane is this. Entities to draft is this side and this side, and I want 15 degrees. And there's has the tangent propagation clipped, so I will click that. Okay, accept. If I hide that, oh yeah, okay, I can see the difference. Did I do it right? A 
doesn't it look like it's going like fatter to the back? Let's go look at theirs. Be sure the front face of this book is smaller than the back face. Am I sure? No. Oh yeah, look at that. Smaller. Cool, okay, so we're gonna move on to the next step, which is mirroring. So we need to select the mirror feature, choose that for the feature. Select extrude and draft. Choose the back face as the plane. Okay, let's try that. So I'm gonna turn this bad boy around and mirror a feature. Um, I'm gonna select them from here, right? Extrude three and draft one. And then my mirror plane is going to be the back. And my preview looks correct, so accept. Sweet. All right, next step. To add rounds to the spoke, create a fillet of two millimeter. Select the front and back faces. Face, face of mirror, two millimeter. Okay, so fill it. This guy and this guy. I guess I could have selected them from here too, but it worked. Okay, two millimeter. Oh, there you go. Um, so I have the right faces selected and tangent propagation was on two millimeter. And I wanna make sure mine looks like theirs. Radius, two millimeter. What is, I don't need a cross section. There is a conic though, I think. No, they didn't even have that turned on. How do I like, I don't need that. Well, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Mine went all the way around. Let me see if it's supposed to. Looks like it. Okay, cool. So then we need to pattern our spokes. We're going to use a circular pattern. We're going to choose our feature pattern type, and we're going to select our extrusion three, our draft, and our mirror, and our fillet, so that the entire chunk, and then the this is our axis. Angle is 360. Number of instances, five. Screenshot this real quick. Make sure I can look at that one working. Okay, so zoom out. And we're going to do a, oh gosh, where do the patterns live? circular pattern um, a feature pattern and the features I'm doing are extrude three draft one mirror one fillet one got all four of those one two three four axis of pattern is this guy angle 360 instances five equal spacing check hey 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 and let's see what's next create a new sketch 
on the indicator plane. I'm going to review this part real quick so that I can do it more quickly in my demo for you. All right, we got through step 12 in this first video. Yay.